All right, we are live, sir. Booyah. Which I was, ironically, I was a, I'll, I'll, I was a YouTube partner several years ago before they changed everything out. Whenever I was just putting, you know, ads on for spray wash for spray wash exterior cleaning and they went and changed it and it was funny because they're like oh you're monetized and i would sit there and go wow i'm monetized i make money from youtube and then i'd look and it was like it basically waited oh, all set. Yeah, ex literally like 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 a yeah, 75 cent a dollar 25 against my 175 dollar a month google adsense account so yep. <laughs> it, it is funny the way that that is <laughs> so anyhow <laughs> all right well we are live so guys welcome 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 to uh spray wash academy it is saturday night we are just before christmas doug what is the date today the i know you're what, what today what is the date um, today is the 19th. I should know that. I mean, I sold my I know, day this is the day you'll probably never I was forget. For the day of the 18th to come around. Now it's the next day. I should have <laughs> known it was the 19th, but you know, I didn't. Yep. Um, yep. So yeah. There's so tonight we are are talking about some really really cool stuff. Dougie Do, Mister <laughs> Doug Moore, formerly of Cajun Soft Wash, has a little <laughs> bit. Congratulations, sir. Formerly a Cajun soft wash, yeah. I'm always going to be a Cajun soft washer. Uh, we all know that. And, That's but, right. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it happened. It, it went through. Um, <clears throat> finalized the sale yesterday, and, uh, and we've been, in, been working on it here for just a, a little while. I'm going to change this back because, first of all, it's, it's more comfortable. I love the proportioner, um, but my hat's more comfortable. And I'm not going to get to wear it as much anymore. So, uh, you know, it's kind of one of those things. But, no, I'm, I'm super excited. It's something that uh, we've been working on. Yeah. I don't really drink too much, but I got me a little Jack and Coke to celebrate. And, and, I, and I drink like a fish, but I broke out the good stuff for you tonight. So There you go. I can um, smell that. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's Doug, a congratulations. Answer. That's nice. Absolutely. Yeah, like Here's to you, my friend. There you go. Congratulations. Here's to you. I appreciate it very much. What an absolute incredible milestone. I mean, I think, you know, it, it's, you, you started from, ah, dang it, I'm getting twisted here. I realized I, I dressed up. I literally went home. I got off this job site. I was like, oh, this is going to be special. I'm going to dress up in the, in the mood, festive for Christmas. I went home, you know, put on the, the Christmas suit. Um, I realized that um, and this is like anniversary. It's a, a, a sunken coin. It's not in a tocha, but it's a, a coin from the Spanish main, and I realized that I look like Maurice Gibb from the Bee Gees with my freaking medallion and bald ass head. Yeah, there um, you go. <laughs> well, if you watch my video today, I mean, I showed the back of my head. It's it's getting there. Not, not anywhere as, near um, as far as long as you are, but you know. Hey. <laughs> but you know, I mean, what an absolute dream! You know, you have you know, in, in the course of of us knowing each other and our in our friendship, you have started a business, grown a business, been successful with a business, now sold a business. That yeah. is absolutely amazing. And I am so, so proud of you. I'm so happy for you. You know, um, a lot of people that know me know the, some of the background and the story, and it's something that you and I share. Um, you know, you were in the real estate business. I was in the real estate business. I owned a house flipping company. Um, you know, own one of the, well, for the for the area that I was in, the largest house flipping company, and uh, you know I was making really good money. I had paid uh, cash for my house, all those kinds of things, and then uh, the market didn't crash on me like the market did on you. But I had a business partner that um, you know caused the crash, and we literally lost everything. And so we were desperately trying to rebuild. When I launched Cajun Soft Wash, I mean you know, over $40,000 in credit card debt um, yeah. on the verge of losing our house. Uh, the bank wasn't foreclosing, but my wife was like, hey, we're going to lose this house. We can't do <laughs> right. it. You know, all that kind they're, of stuff. They're not foreclosing, but they're going to be foreclosing here. Yeah, real they're going to be foreclosing pretty soon. That, that, that guy standing out front picking his teeth. Uh -huh. He's waiting yeah. on something. The buzzards are flying over, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, 
had no money to do anything. And, and uh, you know, I launched Cajun Soft Wash with, uh, I took that that credit card that was, you know, 40000 in debt, which had a, a little over 40000 and had a $50,000 limit. I'll just let you know that. I was right there, you know. Mm-hmm. And, uh, man, I took that and uh, I bought a double pump system from the Power Wash store. I rented a Home Depot pressure washer. I rented a Home Depot surface cleaner. And um, here it is. Uh, I grew Cajun soft wash. Been debating whether I want to throw out some numbers because uh, actually I, I know that contractually I can't. So let me go that direction. Okay. But let me say that Cajun soft wash did some healthy numbers every year and it grew by that number every single year. Okay? And right. so we did did very well. And uh, <clears throat> I haven't been driving around a brand new truck. I haven't been doing all these kinds of things. We've been very frugal. So let me say this. So going from the start of Cajun Soft Wash, where I was over 40000 in credit card debt, um, on the verge of losing my house, my house was paid off. Okay. Um, my shop that you all know that have been following along, um, I bought it like a year and a half ago. Um, mm-hmm. Guess what? That sucker's paid off. And, I, and th- th- that was paid off before I made the sale. Let me, let me, right. let me say that. The house and the, and the paying off of the shop were done before that. All of the equipment inside the shop paid for. This company did that. This company paid for all that. And then when I sold right. it, that's, that's, that's mine. We get to keep it. Right. And I'm so what you what you sold the company for the money you actually get to keep, yeah. not not paying off a bunch of debt that you had on, on your fancy shiny trucks, you know. Nope. I mean, you know, you and I are cut a lot from the same cloth, and you know, I've I have bought up until last November. I mean, every truck that I drove around personally was was an auction truck, you know, that I had gone out there and had it wrapped, and you know, it's like, well. Uh, you know, typically it was like a police auction or a game warden auction, you know, so so it had been maintained but beat to hell. And, you know, the, the center console was gone because that's where the radios were. I didn't have heated seats. I didn't have, you know, um, necessarily electric windows and things like that in my trucks. Now, last last November, I needed to spend some money. So I bought myself a nicer truck finally, um, yeah. you know, after 10 years in business. So. You know, it's for me. A lot of this is. Um, I, I want to make it pretty clear to everybody out there too that you don't have to run thirty trucks to make a yeah. really, really good living. You can do it with one truck. You can do yeah. it with three trucks. You can do it with five trucks, or you can do it with thirty trucks. It, it, it's what you do with it to make it get there. That's that's right. that's the whole thing. I mean, the whole enchilada. You can. <clears throat> um, Look, and it's, it's, for me, this whole thing boils down to a family, okay? Right. So not only is it the family of Cajun Softwash and the employees that were the family of Cajun Softwash, we're going to get into a lot of stuff here tonight and talk about a lot of different stuff, but it's also this online family that I have right here, right now, um, you know, from, you know, um, Boy, if I start throwing out names and then it's going to be like, I'm going to forget somebody Yeah, to do that, you know, that kind of a thing. But, um, you know, uh, Nicholas Jacobson, um, Brenda Farley. uh, I I mean, I I could go on and on and on. Derek Moody, uh, Joey Reed, Chaz. I mean, Raymond Burke and, and Tanya and. You know, the people that have that helped me early on um, and the people that I've been able to help and bless early on that for that for them and for them to grow their businesses and things of that nature. That's a, a highly important thing to me and something that <clears throat> I want to let you all know, too, especially that right now is a, a very important time, I think, for for Ray and myself and the the the, the spray wash family because that's that's what i see this as is it's it is a great big family and we are going to grow together we're going to do things together um Mm -hmm. 
I don't know if we're letting, not going to start letting cats out the bag, but we're going to be doing uh, some I online we'll training. Talk about it some. I mean, we'll definitely segue into this, but you know, what you were saying is, is the, you know, the people that you met, you know, and you know, they're, they're, they're online, online people. And you say, oh, they're not, you know, there's just somebody online. It's much more than that because I mean, a lot of these are people we've, we've, met at at these events these are people that that even people we haven't met you know and you talk to them either on phone or online and you actually really and truly give a shit about them and, and they and they do become you know they're truly friends i mean i just went to the virgin islands with with, with tj Koloff and grace you know somebody that i met you know, at, at, at an event and and mm -hmm. it's just you know, one of my closest friends in the world mm -hmm. so you know we're, we're not just blowing smoke whenever we say you know our our online friends because they they really are just like real life friends in so many ways they're just separated by by so many miles and you know i know that that your business and my business and our business together with with pro and the academy and our classes that we've written and taught plant and property protection. I mean, I know that 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 we have touched a lot of people's lives because I still weekly, uh, you weekly get messages from people going, "I got that bid because of what I learned. I got, I got, I got, I got, that, bid. I got that message today." Yep, you know, and I know we've we've positively through this industry and through our businesses, we have touched people's lives, and and to me. And, and you know, and knock on wood, I mean, I'm at a, a place of, of 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 financial freedom and solvency myself, and th that's such an awesome reward now that that money can't even buy the feeling that you get whenever, wh whenever you you know you get you, you know you, people say that to you, it, it feels so good. Absolutely. Now, with you. You know, and it actually it shows the the the, the de evolution. I used to only, you know, really we would only talk to really successful people. Um, you know, you know, whenever we would do interviews, and now I realize that I'm actually, um, you know, sitting here talking to a, to to a, a jobless unemployed bum. Um, Unemployed bum again. But you're 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 not See, even I'm you're coming, not even I'm coming you're, in. You're 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 actually you're a landlord, so you have a job as a landlord. Go, I'm a so and you paid for it by you know by freaking pressure washing. <laughs> For a building, how amazing is that? That is, that is, oh. it, it is, it, it is. Uh, I mean, I'm super stoked. I'm super happy for the future. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm debating. I'm, I'm <clears throat> really wanting to get into this powered parachute thing and have some fun. And maybe as we travel around the country a little bit, uh, doing classes and shows and whatnot, that uh, maybe we'll be able to use some of those. Uh, powered parachute things and just have fun with people and, and uh, you know here's the thing and and I, I think a, a lot of people may not even realize this right so um, people whose lives we've touched and they and they and, and we've been told that hey you've really touched my life you really helped me in this business you really done this and really done that I really appreciate that but something that that y'all don't know out there is that you've touched my life and you've helped me in in my business as well. And you've you've helped me grow as a as a person. And as, as I really enjoy helping people, and I really enjoy teaching. It's something that has been um, a passion. I love being a part of the Spray Wash Academy and Spray Wash Pro. And mm -hmm. um, you know, you touch our lives probably more than we touch yours. And, and, I, and I mean that tremendously. And, and yeah, we, we've know, never I taught savvy. Savvy. We haven't learned something, you know. We've never, we've never taught where we're you and I didn't walk away and go, hm, "Damn, that was a good idea." Yeah. Um, it was um, it was kind of amazing. But you know, one of the things with with me with my arm now, and I'm I'm actually in celebration mode, so I'm not wearing my sling, but it's literally on the other side of my conference room table here, and I'll put it on as soon as I'm done with this this podcast. But 
you know, with me laid up with this and you selling this, and I mean, this, you know, obviously wasn't a surprise to me um, necessarily. And we've talked it's about it. It's a big it, surprise but, to my kids and to my mom. <laughs> <laughs> But, but something that you know we're, we've been alluding to is that that we're really going full steam ahead now with the extra classes with the online education and and 2021 is going to bring some major changes about the spray wash academy with online education because you know you and i had always loved the conference experience always loved the classroom experience but 2021 said or 2020 said yeah hey, uh, maybe not uh, so. much, uh, but that that, that it is it, it's 2020 has helped us to see that you know okay hey uh, we've had a lot of people in the past asked us hey i really can't uh <laughs> good stuff who does when cajun loans opens um, yeah, uh, so, you know, in, in, in all of this, we've had so many times where people have asked us, you know, um, are you going to do an online course? Are you going to do it? Is this online? Is this online? Is this online? And we really like to do them in person and at these conferences and all that. Um, but we also realize, I think, especially for me, I realize it's kind of unfair sometimes when you got somebody that, um, whether they're working or, or not working, whether they've got, you know, 10 trucks or, or barely have a truck. And they're like, I just can't make it to the convention. I can't make it to the convention either because I'm broke or because I've got, you know, way too many obligations. I just don't have the time to do that. And so um, 2020 really said, hey, guys, you have to go online. Right. And so, um, yeah, we've got lots of different. Uh, uh, I can't wait to. Uh, the first one that we're intending to launch really is the um, our signature series, I guess, is what I would call it, which is the plant, yeah, property. The plant and property and have that yeah. on online and, and really have it a hardcore, you know, eight, six, seven, eight part series that you, know, you can go into. And, and, and that's actually, you know, get into here's how we make a, a, a Tyvek trench. Here's how we, you know, uh, uh, um, uh, mask a pencil juniper you know using extension poles and things like that i mean just really really getting crazy you know with the with the with the education and how do you wrap a two-story tree <laughs> yeah yeah exactly exactly um you know so so things like that and i know i'm i'm so looking forward to it and you know we talk about every day or every other day and and these are all, you know, things that, that we have just you know, planned. And and I think, you know, part of it, I know I've been talking about this online a lot lately. I know that, that you've been talking about it. One of the reasons that we're doing this is also because of the pathetic, pathetic pitiful state of the education that's out there right now in the pressure washing industry. I mean, I used to just kind of, blow it off going in eh, whatever but guys it's amazing and and people talk about facebook being a problem and 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 just oh you know facebook if you haven't looked out there and seen what's happening on youtube youtube yeah, facebook is, a, is a drop in the bucket compared to to what's out there on youtube you know um and there's, there's so much so new training going on that is such hogwash and just such yeah, dozens and dozens of guys who 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 you know are offering their courses and offering their their classes and i mean and, the, and some of these are guys that have actually come to our classes uh -huh. and we know that they've not been in business for more than two and three years and i'm not going to name names but they're running training schools and they're selling training things out there and it's just like Dude, I told you how to do that like two years ago, and, yeah. and now you're out here selling stuff, you know. You're trying, you're trying um, to sell stuff, but I just showed you five minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you probably haven't actually done. I've told you about it, you know, uh, but you haven't probably done. You know, that was where where you and I came out and set that education, that industry standard right. about three years ago with the plant and and and, and protect plant and property protection and. You know, we want to continue to to set that industry standard on things. I mean, everything Absolutely. we do, you and I always want to do it top quality. Um, and, and not and, and and for those that have been to our classes that they already know. Those of you that have not, um, 
Hey, Ray, let me ask you a question. Who, who, who is they? <laughs> Stay away from the pronouns, you know? I mean, it's... it's. <laughs> you know, a lot of people who say, they say, yep. he says, they, you know, who, who is they? Okay, so exactly. we want to teach from a factual position. We want to teach from things that are... Um, Real. We want to be able to cite things and cite where they come from, and yeah. why they come from, and how they come from, and you know why it's a legitimate thing that we're talking about, or to show that it has legitimacy to it, and you know these kinds of things instead of and, and really truly staying away from he said, she said, they said. I don't even know who they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I was in a cl I was in a um. I was in a group just just the other day, one of the not spray wash, but somebody said I did a light house mix on this vinyl and it oxidized. And I was like, okay, what's a light house mix? You know, and I was like, how much? And it was downstream. He was like, well, how much hose were you using? How much hose were you using? Because if you were using 50 foot or if you were using 250 foot, whatever your light house mix was, was different. And you don't know because that downstreamer is, is going to be pulling different ratios. Um, you know, and, and it's like, and, and then you tell them that, that Georgia Pacific and Certainty, the two largest manufacturers of, of um, the uh, of, of vinyl siding out there, um, you know, they have the specific recipes of how to do that. So that's why you'll never hear of how to clean, what ratio to clean at. That's why, you know, in any of our classes, you'll never sit there and hear, oh, I think, you know, I've heard. No, Georgia Pacific says, EAF says. says, drive it, says. You know, I mean, it's, it's. You know, we're, we, I don't want to go this into their the recommended record. process. This is their, this is the, the thing that they recommend. Excuse me, this is the thing yep. they recommend. And here we go with they, but we're defining who they is. We're defining that it is Georgia Pacific, drive it. All those sorts exactly. of things instead of just a regular they, who's they. they okay, we're going to exactly. define who they is and make sure that and you, you have know no they idea you know, for, for new guys, for new guys and gals that are listening to this, you have no idea if the person over there on the other end of the computer that you're conversing with has done one house or if they've done 10,000 houses. You know, mm -hmm. you have literally not a clue on there. So, um, <laughs> It's and, really and that, I, want, I want to throw out a point here. I, I'm going to disclose where I sold my business for. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do that here right now. Even though I'm under a non-disclosure non agreement, I'm going to do it anyhow. All you guys out there that are selling your house washes for $99, I sold the company for $110. So you can get past that $99. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> there you go. There you go. The... Uh... And and somebody somebody's up here talking smack about my uh, ugly sweater. Uh, I'll have you know, sir. Oh, Jacob Deal, great. This is not a sweater, sir. This is a dinner jacket. It is uh, a jacket. Yes. And you should be able to tell that, Mr. Jacob, by the shine exactly. coming off his head where he's at. Just saying. That's right. My my Maurice Gibb look here. And that, that so, makes it a jacket, not a sweater or whatever. What you said. You know, one of the one of the things that that we were you know talking about, and, and I keep noticing this out there on the YouTube, it it's a really really disturbing trend to me. Um, the affiliate links trends on 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 YouTube. Um, you know, before you get into this, I just want to mention that um, I'll be doing some stuff on Amazon. And yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, I dare say that we brought this, you know, widespread to the industry. You know, this is, nobody ever talked about this tape until plant property protection, you know, and then it was people, you know, now you hear the red stucco tape everywhere. And, you know, we've honestly found some stuff that's as good, if not better at this point, since the red tape. But now everybody sits there um, and, 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 you know, talks about the red tape. So, not not once ever in our tenure of, of, of teaching together have you and I ever said, boy, we should go, wouldn't it be great if we went and set up an Amazon affiliate account so we can goose contractors for an extra, I don't know what you get for a roll of this soul, but you're going to make at least two cents off of it. You know, but, but I go on to these guys. <clears throat> 
YouTube pages. And I am absolutely mortified that they've got a list of equipment from Amazon that you should buy that comes in <laughs> from their freaking portal to where they're going to make a commission off a contractor's ass. That's it. That's it. And by the way, yeah. I will be selling pens. <laughs> <laughs> I've I've never thought of I've never thought of going to Paul Cassander or um um uh, Eric and Lisa or the guys in Nashville or or Russ Johnson or Nick or or uh, T J Poor down in Manatee. I've never ever even entertained the idea okay. of. Hey, hey, I want a referral fee. I want a referral fee if, if I sell sell equipment, you know? You know, it's, <clears throat> same thing with like the gutter tool. I mean, you know, I personally use the gutter tool. I love the gutter tool. I did a video on the gutter tool. I'm, I don't get commissions off of that, nothing like that. And I don't, you know, to me, that's not that there's something wrong with some of it, but it, it, to me, it should be legitimate. We're not here to make it, you know, sell you a product that isn't right. worthy of, you know, yeah, the, I, I'm not going to say that every piece of equipment that they're trying to sell is 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 crap. Yeah. But to me, it's just I find the whole idea very very distasteful. I find exactly. it repulsive and and repugnant. And I think if you know if if the teacher is is that desperate for money, they're not not that good of a teacher or exactly. if. If, if and maybe if it's not a desperation for money, if it's if it's that all consuming with making a profit at the same time, maybe they're not the right person to follow because they will sell your ass down the river for a quarter mm -hmm. instead of having your best interest in it. And that's the thing, knowing who it is that, that there's lots of stuff happening. There is a lot, you know, like we were talking about. There's lots of people that are now selling stuff through Amazon or, you know, the, the new YouTube stuff that's popping up and, you know, all these different things. <clears throat> they can be charismatic and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, but are they really giving you valid information or valid training or, you know, whatever the case may be? That's important to me. That's really, really important to me. And I, I do know, and, you, and everybody has to realize that, as we've said probably a hundred times on here, Every area is a little bit different. So something that may work here may not work over here and those sorts of things. But when you're listening to, to me or to Ray or to whoever it is, and we say this is the way to do it, you also have to remember some of that is here in this area. So, right. you know, if it doesn't work over here, but you still need to know who it is that you're getting it from and where it is they're getting their information from. Is it from actual experience? Is it from talking to in others in the industry that, are actually very knowledgeable and that, that have successful businesses and know what they're doing. And let me define successful business here. A successful business can be one guy and a Absolutely. successful business can be 50 guys. I've, I've said that before. So, yep. but you need to make sure that, that they've been around, they, they know they've got, you know, um, I can tell you, I mean, I'm, I know guys that, uh, you know, we'll sit there and say, I've been in the industry for 15 years or 20 years or whatever. And I know whatever. I've done way more than you have. House washes. And, and um, the, the big point of that, too, is that you have to be willing to change and, and accept what's going on out there. And, you know, not make sure who you're getting your information from. That's what we're trying to pitch and preach and all that kind of fun stuff. You know, it, it's, it's, you know, there, there's, there's no rule book. And, and pressure washing. There's no, there's no, there's nothing that says you have to have a company of two service trucks or a company of 10 service trucks. And there are absolutely, you know, solo guys that are out there killing it. I mean, they're yeah. doing just awesome. And, and there's nobody can sit here and tell you that, that, oh, well, you can't work alone and be successful because mm -hmm. it's full crap. I mean, you absolutely can't. It's not, and, and I also know, I know some, some six and eight truck companies that have had to lay off their office staff this year mm -hmm. um, and, and have had some, some real hard times. So just because you're big and have a lot of trucks, 
doesn't necessarily mean you're you're super successful either. You know, I've got a guy in my market here. Um, I won't mention his name, and it, I, I think he was on here just a little bit ago. And, and uh, <clears throat> he didn't want to do roofs, and so um, because he was a single man band, I think for the most part, so he used to refer all of his roofs over to me. And then when he started realizing, hey, this guy's doing pretty good with these roofs, you know. Yeah. Um, I really taught him about the Tyvek, how to use it, what to do. Um, and now he he does roofs by himself by covering things with the Tyvek and doing things correctly. So he's successful in what he does. And right. So, you know, you can be successful as one person. It's just a matter of doing it correctly. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, we've always said in our classes, don't recommend doing roofs by yourself, but exactly. you absolutely can with the right setup and the right safety precautions and the right, you know, all of that. Is, is it, is it my preferred way? Hell, I've done, I've done hundreds of roofs by myself. Will I yeah. let my employees do it? Oh, hell Never. no. Never. Um, you know, and again, it, it's not a situation that, that it's what you keep and not what you what you make necessarily. So, you know, again, what I love about this this business is what defines success. Well, you get to define success. You, you, know, you, you get to define success on your own terms because if you're happy keeping thirty thousand dollars a year from your your pressure washing efforts, then that is success to you. If you're happy keeping three hundred thousand dollars a year from your pressure washing efforts, then that is success to you. If you're happy paying off your house and your building and selling your business, then that is success to you. <laughs> That's so awesome. So, so Doug, tell me, let's 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 uh, let's let's uh, pit, pivot. I hate that word. Um, let's pivot for a minute here like we do in 2020 and let's talk about uh selling a business um what's your recommendation on doing that my friend um well my first recommendation really would be to research the brokers that are out there um because typically there are several within the industry or within your area depending on the size of your area there are some national firms out there and there are some local firms I'm more apt to, to point you in the direction of a local firm. Um, if they've been in business for any period of time, and that's one of the things that, that happened with, uh, with the firm that I use, of which actually I wouldn't recommend them. I don't, I'm not gonna get into a lot of that. They tried to rip me off in the end, which was a bad thing. They, they found out, kind of like a little machine that I know about, they found out that I don't like to play stupid games. Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, um, yeah, it, it was you kind have, of funny. A little bit of an audience, you know. <laughs> they, well, well, yeah, they made a heck of a commission off of the sale, and then right. they tried to cheat me on two grand for something else. And long story short, but they found out pretty quick. You know, Dougie, do don't play that. Anyhow, um, I would still recommend like a local place, um, and the reason being is. Even though you get a, a national audience, if you would, out of the national companies, this is not a national business. Okay, right. You could get picked up by a national company, mm -hmm. sure, um, but that's, I think in what we do, that's a lot less likely because we don't do like HVAC and, and um, you know, electrical work. So I would really recommend finding somebody that's with a local broker and I would sit down and talk with them about what you want, the aspects of what you're trying to do, where you're trying to get, why you want to get there. I would discuss with them what the importance of keeping everything quiet or should we put it out there, right? Um, for the most part, keeping the sale quiet, I think is, is, is a very important thing. And the main reason being, like my employees didn't know until yesterday, right? There was one, one employee that I talked to and there's a bigger story there and we'll cover that in a later date, but um, keeping it quiet. And really the, the main reason for that is <clears throat> businesses sell anywhere between one week and 10 years. There's some place in between that they typically sell in. Okay. Um, there is really no standard to that time frame. And the other thing I would say about selling a business is in, in talking with the bro different brokers that I talk to, I can tell you that they were all somewhat surprised with me. And the reason they were surprised is most companies 
when they walk up and they say, hey, I'm interested in selling my business, they say, okay, great, show me your books. When you show them your books, your company was doing this, and all of a sudden it did this, and then maybe it started to do this, and that's right. when you sold, okay? So most companies are selling on that, that flat or that down tick, right? I sold on the uptick, and that was really important, and, I, and, and it helped us sell extremely quickly and you know i say that because you just don't get that very often you don't get the business that is on the rise you get the business right. that is flattened out or worse most businesses right. are on the down tick when it's time it's to sell. Peaked or it's declined yeah yeah i can see that i um... exactly so by being able to show that we're on the uptick instead of the flat or the down tick it made us a very viable business the other thing is they had a, a number that they gave me and said, this is, you know, through the research, this is what your business is worth. And they were right over a slight dollar amount that I, again, I can't disclose, but they were over that dollar amount. And I said that in, in business, I know that's not smart. I should be just below that dollar limit. So let's just, right. let's just throw something out there for the, for the sake of argument. Let's say it is a, 10 billion dollar company right it, you shouldn't put your business for sale for 10 billion right you should do it nine, nine billion nine hundred ninety nine right. you know, all, nine all billion stuff. nine billion nine hundred million nine hundred yeah. ninety seven and ninety seven cent yeah. sounds a lot better than 10 billion you know well, not only that but if you go 10 billion and one dollar the people out there that are searching are going, okay, I want to buy 10 billion and let, uh, under. I only have 10 billion to spend. So they never see you because they don't go to 10 billion, five dollars. 500, yeah. Send me back in real estate of pricing houses, you know. Exactly. If a house is worth 250, the worst place you could be would be like at 251,000. You know, you'd, you'd be you'd be better off to 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 sell it for two forty nine. A lot more people are going to see it than than that. You know, exactly. Yeah, exactly. I love I love uh, I love Ryan Velma's comment. So now we're taking advice from a guy that doesn't even own a pressure washing company. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, you know what? Uh, but remember, at one point, I was even uh, you know because of the flood, I was even homeless. You know, I mean, yeah. so there you go, yeah. and you know. So uh, now, a I don't even own a pressure washer. You should listen to me. <laughs> That's right. That's right. So, um, so you recommend a, a local guy? Um, absolutely. Well, I guess I, you know. I recommend doing some mind. research as well. I mean, making sure that that you you need to know what it is that your market is that, that you're actually worth. Right. You know, I know that, that we had talked and, and, you know, you and I talking through the sales process when we were doing it. Um, a lot of, a lot of the CPAs out there are saying between two to 3% of the owner benefit uh, is what your, your, your uh, business is worth. worth. Yeah. It's not necessary. It may not be a factor of what your sales are per year since we're in a, uh, a, a low inventory type business, but you know, if you took two and a half times what your owner benefit is. Now, what is your owner benefit? Well, your owner benefit isn't necessarily what you get paid. It's also all those little nice things that you take out of your business as well. You know, and let's, let's be very frank. I mean, my business pays for my truck. My business pays for my auto insurance. My business pays for my hunting lease, my, my business pays for my gun range membership. You know, there's, there's, there's about $50,000 of extra stuff over what I get paid for that I take out of this business every year. A lot of that is it's what's called discretionary income and discretionary income is something that if you are looking this to, to <clears throat> grow your business, to sell, you, you need to keep track of if you're doing cash jobs on the side, I mean, that's discretionary income, right? Right. If you're um, spilling fuel from your pressure washer into your truck, that's that discretionary income. It's weird how that happens. Yeah. Who would do that? It's funny that that could happen. I don't know how that could happen. <laughs> I'm not advising you to do that. Make that, that would be, yeah, that would be horrible. That would be illegal, that would be and I'm not advising you to do that. But 
if you submit um, those receipts as fuel that went into your pressure washer and take the tax rebate back, that would be a yeah. bad thing to do. Don't do it like that. Yeah. Um, if you happen to have extra toilet paper in your house, that's discretionary right. income. If you happen to have exactly. extra coffee at your house, that's mm -hmm. discretionary income. Um, you know, if you really want to, I don't want to point right. people in the wrong direction and get right. you in tax trouble. That's not what I'm trying to do. Right. But what I am trying to say is that you need to keep track of where your dollars are, where you're going with them. I believe in following the tax laws. I believe in, you know, yeah, I don't even want to say government institutions and, you know, be politically correct. Yeah. I don't care. I'm but, from the government. I'm here to help. I mean, you yeah, know, you yeah, kind of know. I'm from the government. I'm here to help. Yeah, ask any Indian. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know, you, you kind of, you know, you know and absolutely, I'm, I'm a proud American and, I, and I'm, I'm happy to pay my taxes. And I pay a lot of money in taxes yeah. every year. Yeah. And uh, and I really don't mind screwing them out of a, a, a few rolls of, of toilet paper because I know it's you just going to go to. You know. Mentioning that too, I do want to throw that out there. Another thing is is looking at the time of year to sell your business. Yeah. So it, it is better to wait to, to, to get towards that end of the year, you know, closer towards the end of the year. The problem is you don't know whether you're going to sell in two weeks or, or 10 years. So right. you do want to try to structure it. So like one of the things that we did, um, I barely got any money from my business. I'll tell you right now in 2020. Mm -hmm. That comes in 2021 because right. the money that we made in 2020 it would throw us into a much higher oh my tax God, bracket. Yeah, could you imagine that tax yeah. bracket of woo? Exactly. Yeah. So you take you take and you can do where they um, they they hold in escrow the other funds where you do an owner financing contract on the business. That is what we did. We owner finance the business until the end of the year. We demand a payoff at the at um, so January fourth. We demand a payoff. That's that's when it's due, and it's the money is held in escrow to make that payment. So. We, we're we're separated into two separate years as far as the as the payoff is concerned. Highly recommend that. Um, depending on where your tax brackets are, because that's a big. Well, if you know if now now if if you're looking for for an investment for that, I'll tell you what I could I could be persuaded to to uh, sell a company to you in Tallahassee, Florida. If you if you realize you're you're missing the game, you know. Um, it's funny. So a couple things. The, the the owner of Cajun Softwash approached me today and said, hey, if you want to buy it, I'll sell it to you for way over what I paid for it because he knows he got a good deal on it. So, right. um, you know, he, it was it was a fun conversation with him. Uh, no, I've already been asked for loans from uh, uh, Papa Puff. You know, he threw that out there. And <laughs> uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, um, so <laughs> there's that. No, uh, you know what? Um, I'm really, uh, I'm very blessed. I'm blessed yeah. for the spray wash family and for the, um, the soft wash, pressure wash, window cleaning community as a whole. Um, I'm blessed to have known, um, I mean, so many of, of the, um, so many of the people out there and the and the big influencers and the and the you know small guy big guy whatever it is i'm very blessed to have known and and look that's i've already had messages today that are hey man don't forget about us hey uh you know hope to you know that we'll see you again look you guys don't have a freaking clue what you're going to be seeing from now on i am going to be in your face no that's not true um but look I, Spray Wash Academy and Spray Wash Pro are going to be going live online, online training courses. Um, th the problem is that guy right there, I hope it's pointing the right direction on your screen. Yes, it that is. Guy yeah. right there, he's got that thing with his funny wing, right? Um, look, I'm really sorry about that. He will tell you smacking at me. <laughs> Anyhow, so he's got the broken wing. I'm going to have some time off. We're going to get together, put together some amazing classes. And we're going to move those classes online for you. So there's some great online training that you're going to be able to do. Um, we're looking at many different benefits for pro. Um, I am super, super excited, not only for um, me, and for, but for the Spray Wash Pro family and what we're going to end up doing. And the, if you guys only knew some of the behind the scenes talk that we've done yeah. and 
things that we're going to be launching and the, the mapping system that's going to get even better and um, websites getting even better and classes getting even better and just all i mean so when we start stuff. making a quarter for every roll of this tape we sell it's going to yeah. be real and here's good. our amazon link that we're going to make three cents every time you <laughs> buy a squeezy <laughs> that we told you about that's right that's right no we've been in talks too about um maybe uh having some skids built that um we're going to be able to bring around and be able to teach people how to how to how to do it correctly, how to operate some of the different systems out there. I don't know if all this is going to bear fruit, but our thing is going to be to give you good quality um, education. Education is what it is for us. It's not making the little dime here and the little dime there. That's not going to be it for us. Ours is going to be about good quality, sincere education, not from who they are, from who who is the, the manufacturers and you know that kind of thing sponsored yeah, by Torah. And I mean and it's it's it, I think anybody that's ever seen one of our classes you know we we've never had a, a negative comment yet as of, of of I didn't think this class was worth a damn. So, that's not true. Uh, that's not that I'm sorry but that's not true. Oh my Don't god, you that that class. The one person your your class. That's right. Your class we the had we had was guy in there. Yeah 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 yeah. No, nobody yep. does that. Yeah, that was that was totally a, a paid for. We're gonna try to stick it to him and all that. Oh yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. That was that was good. The one guy that wouldn't pick up his name badge. I mean, it was kind of funny. It was like you put two in together, there. You're like, you're a plant. You're but he was making plant, notes. Man. Oh, that's good stuff. Oh, that's yeah. good stuff. Oh wait, but no, but he's supposed to be denouncing us, and he's making. Oh yeah, but that's good stuff. He's writing notes. That yeah. Was good stuff. That was funny. I remember that now. Yep. yep. But yeah, so that's been the only one. Um, yeah. That was funny. We're pretty sure we know who planted that, but you know. Yeah. Know. You think? It, it's 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 actually that was a uh, that was a compliment. You have to go to those lengths to try to. Yeah. You really, it really is kind of a compliment in that respect. You know, I mean, whenever somebody's there and and the end goes. It, you're, you're, you're that much of a perceived threat that they're going to go after you and, and try to disparage a class uh, like that. I mean, it really is is quite, quite, you know, interesting. Um, it, it, really, it makes you makes you feel kind of good about yourself in some in some respects. So, right. Let's let's do this for a minute. If you don't mind. I want to look at some of these comments because it's, it's uh, yeah, I'm absolutely popping up. And I saw um, one in here. Uh, Jeremy says, when is the next plant and property training? Jeremy, that's going to be online, and uh, I think we're we're shooting for mid mid to late February um, yeah. to be able to come out. If with not that. in January, maybe. I mean, God willing, in the creek don't yeah. don't rise. So he's pushing that. Wait, it's that way. That way, yeah. That way, he's pushing for the end of January. We're going to try to make that happen, but I'm trying to be on the conservative side and say mid February, maybe late. Um, we hope to put out a couple different classes at the same time. The plant and property protection is going to be the very first one. It's the one that we're the most passionate about, and it's the one that I think is the is the most important in this industry. Um, if you ever asked any of my guys, any of my guys, any of them, what is your job? They're going to tell you plant and property protection because yeah. they know we are hired to fix a problem, not create one. That's a very right. important thing. So plant and property is, is uh, um, very big for us. Um, Let's see. Uh, video freezing up on my end, and I think he was talking about you, Ray, because yours kind of checks in and out sometimes. Uh, no, actually, I really didn't move like that. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> this is one, Ryan. Ryan, uh, that you were saying, Ryan Bellman said, taking advice from a guy that doesn't even have a pressure washing company. Lots of luck. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, uh let's see uh jacob plant and property protection is awesome it is formerly of cajun soft wash most definitely uh brenda tears of joy and sadness look um it is all joy i under i, I really appreciate you to begin with um sadness my wife cried i can tell you that um my my mom was freaking out my son was freaking out you did what oh. um hey todd uh please post a link to the gutter tool 
remind me to do that and I'll, I'll do that. But it is, I believe it's, I believe it is the gutter tool.com, the gutter tool.com. It's a good tool. I, I like it. Shambling sauce is good sauce. Um, you know, paid for by, never mind. Uh, we need a place of real news, um, and education, Facebook and YouTube may be gone in the future. Um, yeah, th that's really what we want to do. We want to produce really, really good education. Um, let's see, uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm trying to look through for any other, uh, Hey Mark, uh, I'll be out up in Washington state here, uh, next week. Um, hey, let, let me interrupt you too. Uh, Todd. Yeah. Is is asking when is the Myrtle Beach event, the one hosted by uh, uh, Jamie Schmidt? Uh, I know I'm. I'm. Are you going to that one? Um, I got nothing to do. I mean, I'm. Yeah, true. Hey, you're unemployed. I might as well. Um, but I'm but I know the social is the eleventh, so I think it's right after that. Um, Jamie's asked me to to be one of the speakers there. And then um, he said, well, I think it's going to be a day of paid classes afterwards. Um, they were actually uh, talking about, um, oh, goodness, um, not doing the plant and property there because just the timing is so, I mean, you know, hell, every time we've ever done plant and property, I mean, we scheduled it for five hours and we're still talking at hour six, you know, people mm -hmm. just are going, you know, and, it, and it's good information, but there's always more, but we're talking about doing a government class at uh, a, a getting government sales class up there yep. at that Myrtle Beach event. Uh, that will be one of the paid classes. And, you know, I know you're an expert at, at, um, at government sales. I'm an expert at government sales. They both made up a, a very large part of, of our, um, uh, our, our bottom line. So, uh, a lot of people like say that, you know, I don't want to get into commercial. Um, I'm going to pick on Papa Puff just because I, I know he's I know he's on here watching and, and you know Papa for a long time said I don't do commercial brother I don't do commercial I think Papa has changed his mind on that you you can comment if you want in there Papa but um, for those of you who don't know uh, Dave Nizat is uh, Papa Puff and uh, I mean he's enjoying his commercial work he's enjoying his government work I, I'm pretty sure of that mm -hmm. he's doing good dollar dollar bill baby <laughs> yep. I mean, y'all saw that, y'all saw that, that, that job that, that I was on, uh, you know, today. And that's a, that, that's a job that's, that's right at, you know, it's a one weekend job. It's right at five figures. I, I'm going to say it's a five figure job, but you can damn sure see five figures from there, from where we stop and, or from where it stops. And, um, you know, it takes us two days to do. Um, there is obviously some rental equipment in there. Um, we've done this building, I think, six times, seven times at this point. Um, it's and it's and, and we don't get bid out. We don't sit there and say submit a bid every year for it. It's literally we get the phone call and we always know that it's going to be in December or January, depending on how their budget went for the year of, hey guys, it's time to to clean, you know, the city center again. Um, you know, you'd be surprised actually right now where um, some of these budgets actually sit. So a lot of people don't realize that COVID has helped budgets, not hurt budgets. And in a lot it of cases has where- It helped in some market sectors, you know, we, we went in there and we, we actually had to, reclassify some of our I, I did a video on this in pro so i don't want to talk too much about it here because i mean you know our pro members really you know pay to be a part of of of, of you know the, the the good stuff i guess but you know I, we've been asked to, to reclassify some 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 uh receipts this year and then we took it upon ourselves after getting a couple of these calls because there's been government reimbursements um for some covid related expenses exactly and if we can so you classify it as something else then yeah you, you get yeah it. i mean if it was always just the pressure washing and now we can reclassify this as something else like sanitizing um you know and and then we took that one step further and started anyway if you're a pro member you'll know that videos over there on on the pro forum and you can you can see that and 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 whenever we went and did what we did and took the action steps 
boy, do we have some more clients that really love us right now. And it freed up more money for us to do more work mm -hmm. because that money that was earmarked for that, that they had already spent has now been refunded to them and they can go spend more money with us. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mark Weintop had asked about details on a possible Washington State event. Uh, a few of us on. Yes. Uh, absolutely, there is going to be a Washington State event. More likely than not, that will happen in 2021. We are gonna do some events kind of all across the country. Um, yep. We're looking at just different ways of making that happen and, and doing it um, to where it's gonna be good for, you know, whoever's out there and, and making the travel correctly and all that kind of stuff. Um, didn't, I just saw, I saw that and I wanted to make sure I, I pointed that out there. But, uh, I'd love to get over that because, you know, we've got some quality West Coast guys, mm -hmm. you know, out there. And even though we deal with a little bit, you know, you, you get the guys down, you know, South California are dealing with a different kind of growth than the guys in Northern California and Oregon and Washington. I mean, you know, it, it, it all's, it's all different, but still, you know, whenever the, the part we love, the sales, the business aspect mm -hmm. of it, you know, golly, that, that part kind of transfers nationwide. Really. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of that going, I'm going to step in backwards, just another step too, but going back to, uh, you know, the, the government jobs and all that, there, there is a lot more inside. I'm going to do a little pitch for pro um, just because, but there, there is a lot more inside pro that if you're not a pro member, I, I highly encourage you to join. Um, there's a lot inside the pro area and there's going to be a lot more coming and there's going to be a lot more, um, in the education where we're going to do a lot of things for the pro members because that's important to us to make sure that the pro members benefit the most. Uh, and I don't mean that in any derogatory or negative term for that somebody that's not a pro member, but um, people that are investing in themselves and investing in their business. You know, I know Ray, you probably the same way where you get a ton of phone calls, texts, you know, those kinds of things all the time. And then it gets you know, returned first. Yeah. Wow. And so, um, when, when you get all those calls, especially when you're, you operate a business, which I don't have, I'm, I'm unemployed, um, then, you know, it, it's hard to be able to keep up and, and do all that. And so, you know, I, I've ha I have had to make some sacrifices, if you would. And so I have to say, who do I sacrifice for? The guy that's investing in his, in his business or the guy that's not? And again, I don't mean that in any bad fashion but I'm going to take care of pro members first right. because that's important and um, investing in yourself, investing in your business. And, and uh, the one thing I want to make clear too, though, is that we're not throwing anybody to the wayside or anything of that nature, because I can tell you right now, when I first started coming up in this industry and I would ask certain questions, even from some vendors and they really wouldn't help out. Oh, you don't spend enough money with us that you're, mm -hmm. I'm not worried about you. Well, guess what? In the end, I was spending a lot of money with some of them vendors, you know, so you don't know where somebody's going to go to and come from and, and all that kind right. of thing. So um, we don't put anybody to the wayside, but we do have to prioritize and do those things. And, you know, really want to help everybody out. But I really encourage you to join Pro. I think it's an invaluable tool um, for you and for your business. And uh, I will be sharing different things on uh, what it took to get my business to where it was, some of the sacrifices that I had to make. And this is going to be something that will be exclusive to pro members and uh, what, we, what we can do to take your business to that next level if that's where you want to go with it. You know, some of the, I'm sitting here looking over my, my, my book and, you know, just some of the things that you, know, you and I have, have talked about, you know, of, of, of classes coming up that we wanted to develop. And I'll do this as a teaser. And this would be, you know, for, for the academy, I mean, yeah, basically, you don't have to be a pro member to, 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 to buy these classes, but really and truly, it'd be foolish not to be a pro member and buy these, you know, because it's going to be, you know, it's almost like you get a pro membership at a, at a huge, stupid disc, or you get the classes at a huge, stupid discount if you're a pro member. Mm -hmm. um, you know, some of the stuff that, you know, we've talked about is is maybe a parking garage class. I know that, you know, there's, there's, there's customers, there's people out there that have garage classes. Um, you know, you and I have done a few damn garages in our life. Um, hotels, um, you know, and, and one of the things, another thing, you know, that's one of our specialties are our hotels and, and hotels are a really unique animal um, in that, in that how you're going to wash them, when you're going to wash them, the public you can wash safety. Them any time of the day, right? 
Exactly. Yeah. Show yeah. show up at eleven o'clock at night and fire there's up. There's nobody up leaving at eleven. O'clock. There's no eleven o'clock checkout time or anything like that, is there? <laughs> you know, um, you know, things like, and then also us reaching out to other to other instructors too. And you know, that's one of the things that that we want to do with the academy this year is is other guest instructors bringing them in. Um, you know, people with like with massive experience with HOA. How do you get this HOA work? You know, and, and on 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 every really one of what's that? I didn't want to tell everybody that we've got somebody really lined up that's really good. Yeah, at yeah, um, <laughs> he's really really good at it. I don't want to cat out the bag. You know, in all these all these subjects we talk. I mean, not only is there a technical aspect to it. But there's also, you know, the business aspect to it as well. How do you get the business? Then once you get the business, how do you do the project? Because there's, you know, it's two different things out there. Um, you know, the, the government sales that we're going to, to, to do up there in, in uh, Myrtle Beach. I mean, what's everybody, everybody always laughs about, oh, oh, you're doing government sales because you were low bidder. Oh. Um, Wow. I, when they I, have I, to take the lowest qualified bid. That's true, but not always. Yeah, I can't tell you how often I'm not the lowest bidder on 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 the government and and literally not the lowest bidder. And in fact, not only am I not the lowest bidder, but I'm not even going up against anybody to be a bidder. I mean, the, hell, there may be lower bidders out there, but they're not even getting low bid they're but not even getting, getting a chance to bid it, 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 so, sometimes you build those relationships and, and yeah. even though there is a government bid process um i don't want to say it's on the qt because it's it's kind of not it's, but it kind of is at the same time. Ways. yeah uh, we can't spill it all here you know that yeah you can't you can't you know but yeah can't do that. Well, again it's this has to do with um, things for pro members too, and so we got to make sure that we're always doing right by um, pro membership and pro members and that kind of thing. Derek, so, I'm reading the comment. Derek doesn't like my dinner coat. Um, see, it, yeah, it was funny. I actually had the whole matching suit. Whenever we did Christmas lights, I went out and bought this. Uh, we did Christmas lights for about three years. Was not for us whatsoever. <laughs> did not enjoy it. Um, Rusty, uh, Rusty is saying, are you out completely or staying on as an employee of CSW for a limited time? Um, I, I contractually, uh, so look, here's the thing. Uh, I will never, ever, ever leave anybody in the lurch. And uh, yes, I am on, I will be, I'm not on payroll by any means. I'm contractually obligated to help him out um, for a period of time of which I'm, I'm leaving for Washington on Tuesday. Uh, I'm going to go up there on vacation. And then I'm going to come back on the 4th and um, we are going to go and I'm going to spend, uh, you know, a good bit of time with him, making sure that he's got everything he needs. And uh, um, we've got some really large clients that uh, we are going to, we're having some meetings on the 5th uh, to meet with them and to let them know what's going on. And also to show them, let them know, <clears throat> look, when we come to do these bids, I'm coming. I'm going to show him all the nuances of your properties, what they are, the problems with them and all that. Then after the job is done, I may go out during those jobs to help with those. Or after they're done, I might be going out to, not that I might, I will be going with him to go through and make sure every job is done correctly to make sure he knows what to look for, how to look for the special nuances of your property. Now I got to tell you, I went out with the guy and I spent a little bit of time with him on, hey, this is what you got to look for. These are the things. And um, he was picking it up and he understood. And, you know, I play a little game. I, when I teach stuff, I, I don't always say, what color is Raymond's jacket? Okay. I mean, I won't say that it's blue and white and red and got snowflakes. And I, I'll make you tell me that. Okay. I'll right. push you until you tell me that. Because that's how I know you've learned how to explain, and he and he was doing very well with it. So I'm 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 pretty happy. And uh, look, I think he is a definite blessing. Um, I, I definitely think there was divine intervention. I believe that um, because it, the way it came, and he's just he, he is uh, a much younger version of me. I, I I mean, really, he's like a 2.0. He's just not as pretty yet, but he will be. Right. I mean, I think. 
I think as he grows. By the way, the col the color of my jacket is awesome. That's that's the color. Um, it's awesome. Okay, the right. color of awesome. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, Todd Todd just made a comment. He said we have a five figure job booked for a hotel in March. And had wow. I not learned from veterans like us, um, wouldn't have landed that job. Wasn't the low bid either. Pro has been a big help getting to this point. You know, mm -hmm. awesome, Todd. That's 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 amazing. You know, I got. So, I'll tell a story real quick. I remember uh, this year. Uh, I won't say. I won't mention names and all that. But I got a phone call from a pro member that said, "Look, um, I got this really big job come up. It's a clay tile roof." Um, what, what I'd like to do is just turn the job over to you. I mean, he's in a different city. He's actually in a different state. And, you know, big job. I mean, I would definitely have taken a crew up there to do it. And I started looking at it online. And I'm like, and he's a pro member. That's, that's an important factor for me, too. I started looking at it online. I'm like, why aren't you doing that? Well, I, I can't do that. Yes, yeah. you can. Let's can. work on doing it. So I offered to come up and help him do it. And... You know, I was going to get paid for it, but I was explaining to him. And so then I thought about it because it was going to have to be broken into several days. And I'm like, how about this? How about you go start that job? And I'll come mm -hmm. up and I'll finish it. Because I knew once he went out and he started it, he would figure out how to finish that job. Yep. The other thing about that job was that we talked pricing. I helped him with pricing on it. He was like, I, I can't remember what the numbers were, but. I'm never going to get anything, you know, I, I can't get that kind of money, whatever. He sold that job, this one single roof cleaning job for almost, drum roll please, thousands of dollars. How much? Almost 10 grand. Wow. For the roof job. Wow. And, he, and I never had to come up and help him because I got him to start on those little sections. He did those little sections. And then he realized, you know what? If I take this in little bites, yep. it's not that bad. How do you eat that alpha, baby? I'm able to look at it online and tell him, this is how you hit that angle. This is how you do this. You don't have to walk on that. You can do this to get there. And he was able to do the job himself. Uh, mm -hmm. Man, I'm, I was super stoked for him. So, so Jacob said that uh, my jacket looks like it smells of regret, shame, and reindeer urine. I will have you know that my jacket does not smell of shame. Yeah. Um, and, and I think and it regret, actually, possibly. I think it more smells like Raymond urine, not reindeer. <laughs> rain. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. There was there was something you know something about you falling down on the floor. And I don't know what it was. Something like that, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Anyhow, well, off on another. Well, Doug, you know what? We, we've been we've been at this for over an hour now, so wow. I probably need to start wrapping it up. Um, I just cannot tell you just how proud I am of you. I mean, like I said, right. knowing knowing the arc that you know you started at, and and golly, you know, I remember still remember you driving your motorcycle over to Tallahassee, and I think you drove your freaking motorcycle because it was cheaper on gas than it was, you know, the car. And, um, you know, just just us talking about, you know, we, we both, you know, we're, we're with a, another group. That, uh, I'm not even going to say uh, shall remain nameless. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, you saw what I was doing and spent a few days with me over here and, and that began our friendship and, 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 you know, helped launch. I think you would not, not that you weren't already, you know, going and doing and, and, and being awesome on, on, on your own. Um, but, but, you know, it, it it's, um, you know, I think that that helps them, and I'll never forget. I really kind of springboarded our friendship and and relationship together, and um, and and seeing that you now, you know, have have come full circle and have have built a business. Not only have you built a business, you've paid your house off, you've bought property, you've paid it off. You're now a landlord to the person that bought your business, and you're sitting on a stack of cash. <laughs> Plus, you have positively impacted just dozens of people's lives through, one, the direct 
of, of, of people working for Cajun Softwash, your family, and then, you know, also what we've done education-wise. I mean, and that goes up into the hundreds, if not thousands right there. And, and so it's, it's really amazing, and, it's, and it makes me just, uh, you know, I, I'm, 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 I am proud. I know you're a humble guy, but I am proud for you. I understand. I am just so proud for you. I, I mean, I'll say the same thing for you, Ray. I mean, everything that you've put out and, and the help that you've given me and the, and the, the community and all that, um, you deserve a, a serious props, thumbs up, um, the big thumb. I would just smash my thumb with a hammer and let it swell up so that I could give you a really big thumbs up, but I don't think it's that much. Um, well, if, if anybody's looking for, for last minute gift ideas, I wear a size 45 in Kimber. Um. <laughs> in, in, in beer urine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, in all, in all seriousness, Ray, I mean, love you like a brother. And uh, I, I feel the same way, Doug. I'm just, I'm so happy. This has been an awesome, um, awesome, 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 awesome journey. And uh, I cannot wait for the future with, um, with Pro and the Academy and flying around the country in a powered parachute if I can and uh, Absolutely. Other things. I'm, uh, this to I, me I get, is the, is the you know, and I've got to talk very to, successful company. I've got to get a hold of Jay Murphy and I hope Jay, I don't know if Jay's, I hadn't seen Jay comment but I want Jay now to go and do a uh, meme because you know, Jay is like the meme master of putting people's faces on stuff. And I want the meme. I mean, here's what I'm visioning is remember the old Chris Farley with the, I live in a van down by the river. And I want your face. <laughs> and I want, I want like, I teach pressure washing from a van down by the river. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the one. So that means I got to get a. I do have to find another vehicle. I had to ride my motorcycle home in the rain today <laughs> because I don't have a truck. <laughs> Shit, I mean, my truck goes to this business. <laughs> you know, actually, I, I, we'll talk forever. But you know, the funniest thing when we were sitting at the closing table, and my wife was like, "It finally caught her when she looked at all the titles laid out, all the titles yeah. to all the vehicles and everything that we had that." was being transferred and she was like holy crap that's like a stack of stuff yeah they're like yeah. yeah just not you know not too long ago we had it's freaking crazy to think about yeah literally where you started and now you're you're you know i mean it's it's wow you know how amazing is that? So I'm just, it brother, is. I am just so, so, so happy for you. And uh, I'm honestly, you know, I'm very happy for me too, because I know that you and I will continue to do great things together. And, and this actually frees us up to, to do even, because I mean, let's face it, we've been, we've been sitting here, you know, with pro for, for, you know, a year and a half, two years now. And the biggest limitation that you and I have is that we both have very successful businesses. And how many times do we bemoan the fact of that and, and, you know, say, well, 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 gosh, dang it. If I had more time, you know, we could do this. I mean, well, at least one of us now has gotten freed up on the time, you know? Yeah, and, and unfortunately the guy that, that um, has lots of time on his hands and saying, I just can't get anywhere in business. I just can't get anywhere. I can't do what you do. I can't make it to your level because the, the business isn't here. They're, 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 I can't do it because, because of this. You're limiting yourself and you're not. This is a 24-7. I work my butt off to get to where we are. Yeah. And that's what you got to do to be successful sometimes. Yeah. Not everybody Absolutely. gets lucky. Yeah, there there is not a lot of luck in this business, you know. I mean, um, Mike Mike Robalski, he he did a great video that I shared at the academy the other day, and it was just like, you know, why do I do what I do, is because you know, and, and it was just about him why he works so much, and and you know, and you and I were kind of the same way. I mean, you know, and Mike's like a little younger version of us, and I just absolutely uh, I love it. There you go. Mm -hmm. I appreciate everybody out there. Thank you. Well, yeah, and I appreciate everybody too, and and thank you all for for being part of uh, uh, letting us be part of your Saturday night. And um, you know what? Again, Doug, congratulations! So we're going to sign off here, guys. And um, hey, thank you all for your time.